Hi, it's Claire, and today we are filming my August book haul. I do love filming book hauls. <laughs> so I bought a total of, I'm like counting in my head, nine books this month. I tried to keep it to a minimum, but it was my birthday, so I did have a little, little splurge. Anyway, let's get started. So first off on the stack, I'm just going down the stack. I have a stack here. We're going to go down the <laughs> first off. We have Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. This is the sequel to Six of Crows, which is a fantasy duology set in the Grisha world. I read Six of Crows in July. So I picked this up ready to read. I'm hopeful to read it soon. I'm, it's a little bit floppier than my copy of Six of Crows, um, but I couldn't find a super floppy copy, which is a bit sad, but oh well. If, if I need to film a video on that, but like floppy books are life. Um, so, I got this. <laughs> There's not much to say. It's the sequel. I'm excited to read it. I did buy a lot of sequels this month, which is a bit of a theme. I picked up The Long Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. This is a short little, like, less than 300 pages from memory. Yes. Um, little book, a uh, sci-fi book about a girl who's on a spaceship. She was born on it and she's like on her way to find new planets but her parents both die. She's the only one left on the ship and then Earth sends someone to intercept her. But obviously the, the technology has developed so someone's gonna catch up to her. Um, and apparently it's pretty twisty but easy to read and I'm really excited. I'm hopeful to read this very soon. I'm, I'm getting the vibes for it. And I'm having September as kind of like a, a read by the city of pants month. So. Hopefully I can read this very soon. Then we have This Mortal Coil by Emily Suveda. This has the coolest spine, like page edges. Um, this is a futuristic dystopian sci-fi. has to do with genetics. Um, I don't really know that much about it, but I've heard good recommendations and um, I think the cover is awesome. Sciency, I'm a scientist. It sounds right up my alley. Um, I'm not a geneticist by any means, but hopefully this is actually true to science and doesn't make me angry. Then I picked up at the op shop, Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. I picked this up because I've heard amazing things about Celeste Ng. I've never read any of her works. Um, I believe she writes kind of like um, literary epics. Um, but this sounds interesting. This, it's a bit of a murder mystery kind of thing, I think. I'm excited. It sounds awesome. I've heard amazing things. Hopefully I like it. Then I picked up Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This is a um, Ursula origin story. Though I've heard some people say, oh God, it's not Ursula origin, Ursula origin story at all. Um, not morally gray enough, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm trying to withhold judgment till I've read it. Um, but some people say it was really fun and some people like no, don't like it at all. Again, trying to hold back on judgment, but this caught my eye. I liked the idea of it. Hopefully I'll read it soon before it ends up on the backlog and I never get to it. Um, but yes, this is a YA Ursula origin story, apparently, as it is marketed. It sounds cool to me. Then we have The Book of M by Peng Shepherd. This is a bit of a beast. It's like 500 pages um, and this follows a dystopian futuristic kind of world in which people start losing their shadows but then they find out that when they lose their shadows they start losing their memories um, and it seems really interesting. I've had some people talk about it and say it's like intense but amazing. Um, I don't know that much. It was definitely being hyped around my local bookstore. The cover is gorgeous. Just spoke to me, you know? Just in a book speaks to you sitting there on the shelf. So I picked this up as part of my birthday book haul. Then we have Seven Surrenders by Ada Palmer. This is book two in the Terra Ignota series. I read book one last month or in August, so I picked it up so I could keep reading. Um, I'm definitely keen to keep going on this. I'm glad this one's a little shorter than the first one, but I'm scared because I want to know what happens. Um, this series is intense, it's sci-fi, it's very intelligent, like you've got to be on it and paying attention. Um, so I think it's probably not for everyone, but personally I really enjoyed it and I'm excited to keep reading. Then we have another sequel 
times the, the month of buying sequels and the next one is Grey Sister by Mark Lawrence this is the sequel to Red Sister which I also read in August um, this is a fantasy uh, with assassin nuns the first book was amazing it was a five star read for me um, and I was very excited to pick up the sequel which again I think is a little shorter than the first one yes I'm definitely keen to see how this goes and the third and final book comes out early next year I believe so I'm very keen for that and then finally in August I picked up Dance of Thebes by Mary E. Pearson which was a new release in August this is the follow-up series to the Remnant Chronicles um, I believe this is going to be a duology and I just oh, I'm currently reading this actually I'm only like 50 pages in because then I went on holidays and it was a big hardback and I didn't want to fly with it um, but I am currently reading this. It is amazing. This kind of takes place, um, it's obviously a young adult fantasy. It takes place of like five or so years after the events of the Remnant Chronicles. Um, so definitely don't read this if you haven't read the Remnant Chronicles, but it is really enjoyable so far in the 50 I've read. There are thieves, there are guards. It's just all kinds of interesting things going on. Some politics, some morally grey characters and I'm just really excited to continue this and finish it because it's I'm loving it so far also it is beautiful naked so these are the books that I bought in the month of August thank you for watching comment down below if you've read any of these um, don't spoil me but I'd love to hear your vague thoughts and recommendations on any of them um, and otherwise I'll see you soon with another video. Thanks. Bye.